Hello everyone, Inspector Exacto here and welcome to my video. Today I've got a real special treat for you. The truck I spotted in Azu Wakamatsu is rare as hell. In fact, there were only 139 made. Not because of exclusivity, but because nobody bought the damn things. And here's why. Look at that bug. What the hell was Mitsubishi thinking? Anyway, this is a Mitsubishi Pajero Jr. flying pug. It's supposed to look retro, which was popular for a short time in Japan, but it honestly just looks like shit. I mean, really. There's even a bunch of bird shit on it. At least you know it still has the 4x4 capabilities of the Pajero Jr. Here is a video showing how capable these trucks are off-road. Holy shit that was intense. Don't confuse the Pajero Jr. with a Pajero Mini. You can tell the difference by the wider fenders and wider tires. Wait I think those are full sized Pajero wheels on that Pajero Jr. This is what the wheels should look like. Also, the Pajero Mini is a K-truck, meaning it has a 660cc engine, whereas the Jr. has a 1.1 liter engine, the 4G31. Here's a Ford Blanco I saw in Tokyo because why the hell not? Even with the wider fenders, the Jr. is still a pretty small truck as you can see the size comparison to the Jeep Wrangler next to it. Here's the back of a pug, in case you were wondering. You think it says flying pug enough on the back? So what's your take on it? Do you think the look works? Does it make you want to buy a pug dog? Let me know in the comments if you think pug dogs are the devil. Don't forget to subscribe and like my Facebook page. Wanna see a samurai with a gun? It's on a poster in front of the store down the road. Crazy, right? Okay, that's it for now. Bye.